welcome to dcl radio show i am doing it from india um, uh, so i hope i'm uh, really audible and there are no disturbances from my end um, uh, this talk show is i mean we have lot of game we lost a uh, lot of games due to rain last week so the analysis part is going to be little less um, with probably uh, two games each uh from our analysts and then uh the predictions okay so before we get into the games i let me welcome our analysts and uh, we will jump into the show uh, welcome to the show uh, dinesh oh th- thank you uh, jagan bro uh, good that you can join from india and get the show live today uh, instead of recording uh looking forward to a wonderful show hello to all our listeners welcome to the show uh, vijay Yeah, thanks, Jagan. I think as we come to the, you know, I think the bottom half of our league, I think there is some exciting excitement going on. But uh, unfortunately, Michigan weather is so unpredictable. Even in July, I don't know if we even see summer anymore. So uh, <laughs> it, it, it is a big headache to reschedule all the games and satisfy every team. But uh, I think as a league, we are doing a decent job so far. So. Uh, yeah uh, looking forward for the show okay welcome to the show imti yep thanks again and welcome to all our listeners to yet another episode of dcl talks on dcl radio uh yeah again uh, hoping that rain gods will show us some mercy uh, it's late into july and still seeing a lot of rain and a lot of rescheduled i think this is probably the first season where we have so many rescheduled games so hoping uh this weekend will be fun uh, but uh, uh before that we can, we'll try to talk about some games from last week so yep and uh, you know with this kind of weather and a lot of reschedules vijay you are doing great job thanks a lot buddy and uh, yep special that... mention for the committee for uh, taking uh, the onus of rescheduling the rain affected games actually uh, doing a great job vijay and team so let's quickly get into we'll get into our uh, pool a games uh, imti you are going to handle pool a and the uh, buzz games by dinesh and pool b by vijay and um, pool c is uh, uh, satish supposed to uh, talk about those games but uh, unfortunately he had to attend the office call so i'll try my level best uh, to cover those games okay uh, imti pool a the first game is thunderbolts versus phantoms yeah uh so this game i think from a context perspective uh kind of uh, the bottom half of the of the pool uh, both the teams uh thunderbolts still having an outside chance and trying their best to make it to the playoffs i guess so uh important game for thunderbolts and i think uh, they rightly uh, were able to secure those five points in this game uh again a low scoring game uh phantoms uh, 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 uh giving a below par uh uh performance in this one i would say batting first they were only able to score 51 runs uh, got all out in the 19th over uh, really very very uh, uh uh less uh, i want to talk about this game because like not, not much in the batting scorecard there uh, uh there was like uh, uh, some good performance by surya who scored 18 uh, from 39 balls tried to stay there for a bit uh, supported by manoj naredula who also uh, reached a double digit scores but then other than that i see at least three or four uh, single uh, uh, first ball ducks and then uh, again a very disciplined bowling effort from thunderbolts uh, uh, really the reason for this uh, uh, a low score uh, from phantoms if you see i really did not see any partnerships in this in this uh, batting performance from phantoms except for the second wicket partnership of 26 runs uh, there were really not much wicket at uh, consistent intervals and uh, all all thanks to their uh, bowling uh, thunderbolts bowling deepak baskaran uh, yet again uh, among the wickets two wickets for him uh, for six runs in his four overs and then uh, gautam balasubramanian also the pick of the bowlers with three wickets uh, in three overs for 12 runs so uh again uh, 51 on any day would definitely be chaseable and thunderbolts definitely were on the driving seat uh, going into the second half uh, 
and i think uh, uh, even though they lost uh, vinod in the, uh, the very first over i think uh, the rest of the batsmen uh, just uh, uh, did this uh, like a cake walk amanjot singh staying not out for 21 runs from 20 balls supported by riyas kareem and mithilesh jagannathan scoring 11 and 10 respectively uh, overall i think they they chased down she chased this down like pretty easily in like less than 9 overs uh in the process lost three wickets but still i thought uh, they just uh, blazed away with that uh, chase and got that pretty easily overall a very very comfortable win uh, for thunderbolts and uh, getting those five uh, points and uh, hopefully in the next games if they can get some wins and get into that fifth sixth spot it will be getting interesting for pule yeah the next one is um, hawks versus indus thunders yeah yet another low scoring game i thought again like indus thunders definitely uh, coming up with their a game for this one uh, uh, hawks on the other side uh, they started off well with some decent performances in the season but then again i think somehow their uh, performances have dropped a little bit uh, in the last few games uh, probably uh, their captain not uh playing the last few games also showing the effect on hawks i guess but really in this one uh, hawks batting first were only able to score 51 yet another 51 uh, uh score uh, got all out for uh, uh, that score in 22 overs again not playing the entire 25 overs uh the top order really mm, nothing there to talk about sachin bothla even though he stayed for 26 balls couldn't get going uh, uh thanks to yashwant like way down the order who scored those 15 valuable runs uh, stayed not out uh, but again like really couldn't get anything going in this batting uh, uh, score card there even looking at the fall of wickets uh, no partnerships at all again uh, again like uh, against a champion team like in the thunders obviously it's difficult when you're on the back foot uh, to come over that and uh, get some runs right so bowling friend uh, as always uh, dinesh pandeti uh, being the economical there but uh, among the wickets jalaj bidwai their left arm spinner uh, three wickets for six runs in his five overs an absolute brilliant spell and then rahul shiv puja and pravin bangera both uh, uh, sharing couple of wickets each i think overall they they they, they just showed uh, that their their bowling uh, is top notch here again uh, with all their uh, uh, usual suspects in the standards and then when they went into chase i think it was just a, a they made a meal of this game uh, the very first pa- wicket partnership the uh, 40 run partnership in less than like around 6 6 and a half overs they just got off to flyer pravin mangera 30 from 22 three sixers and then the rest of them really didn't have much to do there a uh, very small score to chase down uh, chase this down in 10 overs 52 for 3 and the game was done uh, and pretty quickly and uh, uh five points for indus thunders again it feels like indus thunders played after a long uh, gap but i think uh, they are back uh, on the field and uh, uh definitely a convincing win for them to go forward okay the next one is uh, the buzz game uh, which is uh, hurricanes canton hurricanes versus krcc any time beating uh, a defending champion uh, 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 uh gives a lot of confidence and especially for hurricanes this is a very important game for uh, the purposes of uh, ranking uh, in their group and uh, say i have a question here i see a defending champion losing a game um it's 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 more of like you know hurting their ego so is that a good thing to happen during the season uh rather than happening in the knockout game or or a bad thing to happen you know it, will it dent their confidence i, I just want to have a quick uh, round table here into your thoughts yeah, i wouldn't say dent in the confidence definitely not again like a team like krcc uh, they have top notch players top quality players so uh, again like this could be some like some outside factor that could have played a part here also uh, not sure but again like not taking away anything from canton hurricanes though a great win De- beating a defending champion is always a great feat but i i wouldn't worry too much for krcc uh, like losing in a uh, like you mentioned losing in a league game is better so that you at least know the kings in the armor and kind of can uh, fix it uh, for and get ready for the playoffs so i think one that's thing that's my take on it 
Yeah. Uh, Vijay, I have a different question for you. See, um... I, I want to tell one thing, uh, Jagan. Mm-hmm. I, I want to point. Yeah. Out. I, I think this is a great win for Canton Hurricanes. I think it may not be good news for teams that are fighting for that spot there in the in, in the pool A, because Canton Hurricanes they played eight, they won six. Now the the critical question uh, for for other teams like fighters who are trying to get a spot there, I think that's. The, the the hurt is there, right? Like hurt, yep. fighters and red Bull. So yeah, I think Captain Hurricanes winning this uh, gives them confidence. And at the same time, it's it's going to be a, a tug of war between the other teams who are fighting for the spot. So the, I think that's where this game becomes more important for Captain Hurricanes. Not so much for KRCC, but I, I'm sure they they, they lost two games. Uh, but again, they have a unit that can beat any team, so they must be confident that they cannot. They can just go and play whoever they want to put in the team uh, for the time being. That, that's my okay. case. Okay. Based so on this case. Okay. So uh, be, beating KRCC is not giving confidence to. Um, I thought it will give confidence to other teams that you know. Uh, they can beat KRCC. You know, at least that's what I felt. Uh, yeah, of course. Anybody can beat anyone, right? And this is the league where we have seen ups and downs, uh, except for Detroit Titans. Nobody else is uh, uh, unbeaten so far. So uh, I think uh, this is an even playing field. If you come and do your job and give you 100%, you can beat any team. It doesn't matter. But again, my, my point was like the teams that are fighting for that spot, they will be like, oh my God, you know, like we thought they, they might have assumed that, okay, Canada Hurricanes going to lose this game. So uh, they have three more games. So that spot becomes more critical. That's what I, my, my analysis was. Okay. Yeah. Dinesh. Yeah, for, for me, it rather happened in the league stage than in a knockout. But uh, in my analysis, I will try to point something out. But if they... The bigger teams, the big thing is how they can retain these players or rotate and give enough chances for these players, right? So so that's that's what, I don't know, if KRCC is getting into that sort of a mode where they're trying to, they ended up messing this one up, thinking, thinking about that. I'm not too sure, but uh, that's what it looked like for me from uh, while studying this game. Okay. Yeah, you can jump into analysis now. Okay. Yeah, so Canton Hurricanes won the toss and elected to bat first. And for a change, uh, I'm looking at the paper scorecard here. Uh, might have been some scoring app issues uh, during that weekend uh, on Saturday. So Jiva Tavasi and Subak Raina, they opened but uh, couldn't get going. Uh, both of them getting out uh, cheaply to Abdul and uh, Shaish, uh, respectively there. So Mohamed uh, tried to spitch, uh, uh, stitch a partnership with the Sadat uh, and Hari and Kuldi, all of them uh, getting six. So for a for a period of time while well, following the score, I was thinking it's like six was the dreaded score for these guys. Everyone were getting out uh, when they were on six. So then eventually Captain Adarsh coming and doing the repair job. He's done it uh, time and again uh, for them playing the captain's innings, taking the responsibility on himself. Uh, strike rate of only 52 and scoring 19. So that was a good show by Adarsh along with uh, Mohamed Ramzi, man of the moment there. So he contributed 9 out of 24. So that's what the situation required. Then came Najit and Anand 5 and 2 uh, for those guys. So with about 7 extras there, uh, they couldn't last 25 overs. They ended uh, their innings in 23 overs uh, with a total on 67. So 68 to win for KRCC. As many as... I don't know why they would end up using so many bowlers, but as many as nine bowlers were used uh, in KRCC. So this is where I have a personal feeling that if they really wanted, none of them bowled five overs uh, for uh, looking at what happened. Uh, you know, it's KRCC. So if they wanted to uh, get the game going, uh, probably they would have uh, bowled out at least a couple of their primary strike bowlers, which did not happen. I don't know why. So, Sayesh, Abdul, and Ryan uh, both uh, 
all three could not complete five. I, that's what bemuses me. So when we played against them, they did try something very similar where they were trying to take the pace off a Yogesh uh, middle. The captain ended up going, I think, three or four overs against Thunderbolt. So I don't know if that was going on or not, but Tamimoni it bowled, uh, you know, 1.2 overs towards the end. So that's what I feel. They did not uh, sort of uh, go for the kill and just wanted to rotate, uh, thinking that yeah, it's 67, less than 70. The score is okay. Maybe we can chase it. I don't know if there was any sort of uh, complacency which kicked into the bowling. And then eventually uh, the batting collapsed or not. So Sayesh was the leading wicket taker with two wickets uh, with an economy of uh, nine runs and uh, with an economy of three runs, uh, two wickets for uh, nine runs there. Then the rest of the gang uh, all picked up a wicket each other than uh, Yogesh Mittal. So 68 was the target for KRCC. So they did not start well. Anant was uh, was able to pick up, uh, I believe, Hemant in the first over itself. Uh, there's no other charts available, so I have to make a calculated guess. So Hemant uh, was uh, out in the very first over to Anant Raman Yoga. So after that, Al- Abdul Chaudhry and Said uh, Mujdaba they tried to build a decent enough partnership there. After that, a bunch of single-digit scores here. So like the sixes, uh, uh, people getting out on six in the first innings, this one looked like there were as many as five people uh, who got out for once. And there was one six in the scorecard along with uh, Yogesh as well. So I'm talking about the total runs made by the batters. So nothing much other than Tamim Oni and Abdul Chaudhry. Abdul Chaudhry 17 out of 49 and Tamim Oni 12 out of 20 there. And with seven extras uh, at round 20, on the 24th over with uh, at 23.2 overs, they ended up uh, collapsing for 62 runs. Big shocker. Uh, they just couldn't get going. From a bowling front, um, Anant and Amit, uh, they opened... Uh, with two wickets for Anand, as I mentioned. Then Sadat Bahir, he came and got one wicket. But the key here was uh, Mohamed Ramsey and uh, Javid Bhai, both of them picking three wickets each. So pace off was the trick here to get KRCC out. But in talking to one of the guys there, they mentioned that uh, that the run out of Tamimoni by Mohamed uh, Ramsey, along with those three wickets, uh, was the turning point where Tamim and uh, Abdul Chaudhry were going great guns. Uh, they were steadying the ship, but that run out uh, uh, set the cat among the pigeons for these guys and could not get out of it. So, wonderful victory there uh, to KRCC. I mean, to Canton Hurricanes to have beaten KRCC. And again, as Imti and I discussed during the uh, T90 show, great, great. Uh, Work done by Adarsh Nair so far uh, and uh, hearing a lot of good things about him and how calm uh, he's able to keep the team and on the field. And uh, big congrats to Adarsh uh, Nair and uh, Canton Arkets. Yeah, yeah. Adarsh Nair, uh, he's, he's a very cool guy. That much I can say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, the, uh, the next set of the to... games... So, yeah. Sorry, kudos to Canton Hurricanes, yeah. right? So defending a low score like 67 against a team like KRCC is a, a great achievement in itself, I would say. So true, yeah, true. That that should be something yeah. that the captain definitely the uh, it's the ability of the captain to uh, have an impact on that, right? So yep. And yeah, yeah. I I think uh, across a lot of different things and even over you know over the years uh, international cricket as well, most of the times it's like the scoreboard pressure for the chasing team doesn't matter how big a team right over the years we've seen some minnows beat bigger teams is where uh, the team chasing is circums uh, under pressure so i mean it's always good to bat first i suppose so you uh, see the one of the reasons why i said you know it's a confidence uh, you know uh, uh, winning game not only for hurricanes for all other teams in the league uh, you know beating uh, krcc is you know, everybody's. I'm damn sure a lot of people will be looking at the scorecard and looking and see the first thing that that came to my eyes is the run out of 
coming morning okay yeah uh, when i looked at that one yes you know if, i felt like if you take out tami moni quickly you know every team has a chance to win against krc so that's how i felt you know sometimes what happens with the teams is you know your if the, if you if you star goes down quickly you know poorly cheaply uh, that gives a lot of it's not it, you are not just giving confidence to opposite team you are taking out the confidence from your team also you know so that's how i felt that is the reason i asked that question sure hey, one uh, one other quick point uh, if you after you're done please no i'm done yeah okay so one other quick point was like uh, i don't know why teams are so hesitant in using spinners in slow bowlers right so mohammad ramzi and uh, jawad bai is like jawad bai showing his experience picking up three wickets in that for, right so it's always that pace off against uh, these big hitters uh, the so called top order batters uh, struggling and you know I always remember what ravichandra nashwin says right you can bowl a rubbish ball and get uh, uh, shiva out so same thing applies even if the slow bowlers were to come in a half track uh, can always get it so it's always good to try slow bowlers and not being hung on just using medium paces uh, so that's the true. only point yeah true true so the next set is pool b and uh, uh, vijay it's your time starts now okay <clears throat> okay uh, <laughs> my first game is uh, gujarat lions our favorite gujarat lions versus kavadra cricket club <laughs> uh, i i don't know i was following this game for a little bit but i i was looking at the scorecards uh, quite often when then gujarat lions were losing wickets i mean by 12 overs they lost seven wickets uh, so their most of their side was done and uh, you know if it is not for uh, vishal patel our old vishal patel uh, they would have been in trouble against uh, Kavadra Cricket Club. I'm glad, uh, uh, you know, Vishal was able to play that knock, uh, 40 of 35, and uh, with uh, Utkarsh uh, Shah, I guess his name, uh, he was the last batsman, and the last wicket partnership was for nearly 36 runs. Uh, so I, I think that made a huge difference in this game. I mean, uh, because we know Vishal Patel is not going to stay in the grease, he's going to score, but he played a very patient innings of, uh, you know, 40 balls, 35 runs. So I, I think uh, close to Vishal, they're glad to see him uh, on the score. But, uh, you know, we with so many Patels, it's very hard to predict which who's going to show up. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I <laughs> but, you know, since we know most of the people who play before, so I, I'm, you know, because Vishal played for Dynamites a few years back and... Uh, he was a good scorer and then something happened he was not on the scene and then uh, and then now he's back in uh, gujarat lions lineup so happy for vishal and uh, uh, kavadra i think uh, kudos to uh, uh, i think uh, i don't know who's leading i think uh, ramesh is leading uh, ramesh ne nenavat nenavat uh, he's leading uh, he bowled exceptionally well for five overs two wickets and 11 runs and uh, if you look at their uh, bowlers who scored really well uh, i think ramesh used their uh, bowlers very well uh, in my opinion because uh, he was going after the wickets and he didn't give bowling to uh, their bowlers who didn't bowl so well but uh, unfortunately there were only like three uh, you know bowlers who were bowling a very tight line the rest were leaking a little bit run so uh, I, I think this was a game for cover drive to 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 have made an impact, but unfortunately they they let loose on uh, uh, on the last batch. And maybe it is just that mentality. Hey, he's going to be the eighth or ninth guy, you know. Uh, so, so let's let's try to bowl him out. But unfortunately, by by the time they uh, bowled for Vishal, I think most of their uh, the, the, the big bowlers uh, were you know completed their quota. So. Uh, so that 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 could be a lessons learned i guess i mean the game is not over until the last batsman gets out so uh so so i think cover drive will take it as a victory a moral victory uh, to you know getting out uh, gujarat lions uh, uh, with uh, the, the first all overs if you consider i think uh, cover drive was like might have been very very happy right looking at the scorecard i mean uh, rona q patel got you know out on the first ball 
uh, you know, that, that doesn't happen much often. So I, I think that's a, a very good uh, bowling attack so far. But uh, but again, you know, like 91, it's, it's always going to be a tricky score or, uh, unless you have a really good batsman to rotate and um, ha- have a couple of batsmen who can clear the boundary. Uh, and uh, that didn't happen, right? I mean, uh, nobody hit the boundary for Kavatar except the last guy, uh, Stravan Idara. He hit one boundary. Uh, so, uh, but uh, very tidy uh, bowling from Gujarat Lions. They know 90 is a score to defend against uh, cover drive and uh, uh, they did justice um, you know by by giving very few extras and bowling a tight line and taking wickets on equal intervals and uh, so again here even the last wicket was 16 runs so I don't know for some reason both teams the last wicket was holding um, holding on and uh, trying their best but uh, I think uh, experienced staff uh, Vishal Patel uh, took over and uh, uh, you know, this is a game uh, that uh, I think Gujarat Lions will, you know, see and say, okay, maybe we should do something different. Uh, so I think uh, kudos to Gujarat Lions and also very, very good effort by Cover Drive to, uh, to, to, you know, take most of their wickets in the first all overs. Okay, the next one is FCC Agni versus Gladiators. Okay, so this game was happening. Uh, right next to the ground that we were playing and uh, I think putting a 96 runs on the board was you know pretty pretty good effort from Agni considering Glad's uh, bowling of uh, you know attack of they had everybody in this game I mean Shan was showed up Hardeep was there Jabad was there Taif was there Mansa Butt was there uh, Aditya Aital uh, Jeet Nirban I mean the the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> So, so it's it's like they 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 they, they really you know had everybody in this game uh, involved. Uh, but I, I think I want to give kudos to the two batsmen here, right? Like uh, Tanmay and uh, Jashwan Reddy, who uh, who really played a sensible knock uh, uh, after the first opening wicket. They I think they at least put on 60, 70 runs. From then on, I think it was you know just downhill. Uh, nobody could stay. I think. Uh, Shan was came in the end. I mean, Jawad came in the end. So, um, I, 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 I'm okay with 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 the FCC Agni's performance in batting because they were able to grind it out and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, especially Tanmay, he played around like 13 overs, two boundaries and one sixes. I think that's that's pretty pretty good, uh, you know, uh, batting. Uh, so I wish I can get a guy like Tanma in my team, you know, uh, so who, who can stay there. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and, and coming to glass batting, I think it was Shanwa's show. I mean, he, I think, yeah, it's bowling, a completely one man show. Yeah, I mean, I saw, I mean, he was hitting all the sixes. I think he was going after Ramesh, uh, the theorem. You know, he bowled only two overs and 17 runs. I mean, it was just raining sixes. Uh, because it, it's it's the bowling was pretty slow bowling attack. There was no pace in it. So uh, Shan was, you know, you know him. Uh, if you don't take him in the, op- I don't know if they left any catches, but uh, I think a very good effort from Shan was. He hit seven six or so. I think uh, this game was over pretty soon. I mean, uh, within the seven eight overs, it was over. So, uh, but again, you know, uh, Agni, I think uh, they lack some. Uh, attack in bowling, I think for sure Ramesh will work on next season and get get some uh, good bowlers back into his team. So, uh, congrats, Glads, and uh, hard luck, uh, Agni. Yeah, the next one is SSK versus Cheetahs. I think you got all one-sided games. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, this has been a story of my life since, <laughs> since, since I became an analyst. I, I don't know. I can't, I don't even have some statistical tools to analyze this these games. <laughs> Uh, where do I start and where do I end? I try to do justice, but again, you know, all these games were very one-sided. Uh, but again, uh, SSK, uh, you know, I, I picked Cheetahs. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> like I'm on the losing end. Uh, but uh, okay, I'm happy for Linga and his team to uh, win this uh, very comfortably. Uh, you know, b- batting first, uh, Kalyan, you know, Kalyan, who can, was a really, really good batsman of DCL. 
uh, you know, I've seen him bat. I mean, he is very patient and he doesn't pick a lot of uh, boundaries, but uh, he's very patient in rotating the strike, regardless of what the situation is. Even if the team is six down, I have seen in, in other tournaments. He just he just plays his game. He doesn't change or alter his game he, because he understands his strength and he knows, okay, if I can rotate, that's my strength, I'm going to do that. He doesn't try to hit, you know, fours and sixes depending on the situation. Uh, which, which is which is a sign that you're the, the player is playing to his strength. He doesn't want to be some other player. Uh, uh, so I, I think that was a very good partnership between Sachin and Kalyan uh, that pretty much uh, gave uh, the momentum for uh, SSK and then uh, a pretty ordinary kind of uh, batting from the rest of the crew. Uh, uh, putting a 114 is not an easy total to chase for Cheetahs because... Uh, I, I think they had a couple of glimpses of players who can play, uh, but unfortunately, uh, you know, the, this game was far over. Uh, again, Priyesh was able to, you know, uh, get get wickets and then uh, Sai Prakash, three wickets and Lingapan, two wickets. I'm happy to see Lingapan taking a lot of wickets in Mission Cup and uh, DCL. So I think he, he might have gone to Nets and practiced a lot this season. Uh, so I, 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 it's, it's very, very good to see, uh, you know, people putting in the captain, putting in the effort and, you know, uh, trying to uh, get the win for the team. So, uh, good, I mean, the 75 runs is a big, huge thing for margin to win. And uh, congrats for SSK and uh, Lingapan and hard luck Cheetahs. Uh, I'm hoping that Cheetahs can... Uh, crawl back and uh, you know make some impact with their pass in the in the in the next season uh, but uh, overall i think these are the, 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 the these are can be good lessons for the teams who are trying to uh, you know come back and 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 play uh, in, in dcl okay uh, the next one is a buzz game um, i think nobody gave a chance to motor city last uh, week in our predictions, if my yes, guess yes. is right. Yes. Uh, yeah, so we are at fault. We are at <laughs> fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, so again, uh, you know, like when, when we do analysis, it's mainly based on, um, you know, again, we have a 25 people roster. It's mainly based on what happens on the field. Uh, again, uh, last week was uh, a little bit of a cloudy, rainy day. Uh, so uh, I, th- th- this was kind of a day where. Uh, you know the ground conditions may be different, but uh, again, you know, I think regardless of that, win is a win, and uh, the whoever played the best on that particular day deserves that. Yeah, uh, you know, so normally when we predict, we predict based on the strengths. So that's all, okay, and how the season is progressing for them. And yeah. when you compare local boys and mortal cities, obviously, you know, not just you and me, anybody in the world would have given you know a game to local boys in favor of local boys and as you as you said you know anything can happen in cricket and especially in tcl is very funny and anybody can win in on any day um your thoughts dinesh yeah local boys versus motor city local boys won the toss and uh, elected to bat first so i'm seriously thinking about uh uh, the pitch conditions, uh, for sure, I feel, I mean, like any batting side is like a little uh, low and slow. Uh, the likes of uh, Rishini and local boys and uh, who, for that matter, seem to be struggling. So that was the key here. Uh, Rishini and Shake opening. So Shake is doing well again. So uh, kudos to Jagan for bringing the best out of Sheikh and uh, local boys uh, promoting Sheikh uh, to open. So all the credit goes to Jagan. Um, so Srini getting out early uh, in the second ball of the innings itself was a big dent and they did not get any sort of momentum going. So Sheikh held one up, uh, wall, held one end up for 22 out of uh, 54 balls with uh, four and a six. Decent enough, but the the key here, the middle overs, they just couldn't get going. They completely got bogged down. Uh, the likes of Arun, Sentil, and Prashanta, <coughs> all of them just uh, for 2 out of 12, 1 out of 12, 1 out of 17 was like uh, 
just no momentum. They could, they were not able to rotate, and it was just Sheikh uh, scoring there. So after Sheikh, the, nothing much to write about until Abdul uh, Kaffer came in there and uh, put in a decent partnership um, for along with Sheikh. Twenty five runs was the partnership there. Then. The extras, 18, just unpardonable in a score of 67 to to have given away 18 extras uh, is a big uh, worry for these guys. I think fif- as many as 15 wides, that's like uh, close to what three overs there is what uh, these guys ended up, uh, Motor City ended up giving. So for here, the chief destructor, Arvind, uh, Four wickets for 15 runs, a wonderful bowling spell from him. But uh, Sujay getting those two wickets was crucial as well. Good to see Dinesh Ravi opening. Uh, he bowls off spin when he uh, opens the bowling and sort of gave uh, the taste of their own medicine back to local boys. They usually open with Satya, the off spinner there. So Dinesh Ravi giving it back to those guys, I suppose. And then um, Hari Shankar bowled well, Karthik. Uh, uh, board well as well. So I don't know how much of uh, having faced uh, Hari in the past uh, played into their minds. Uh, he was the best bowler uh, in terms of economy there. Five overs, uh, 10 runs uh, was good. I think uh, they just wanted to play him out or what. I don't know uh, if having played against him so much uh, played in the minds of local boys batters. Then going into the chase, this was another 67. So this week, uh, if uh, the team scored a 67, then it becomes a bus game, I suppose. Uh, but this one was successfully chased down by uh, Motor City here. So uh, Dinesh Ravi and Karshap uh, opened, but Karshap could not last too long. It ended up getting out in the second over itself. Then a good partnership between Captain Bargav and Dinesh Ravi here. So they were going really well. Um, but uh, eventually in the sixth over, uh, Dinesh Ravi got stuck into Satya, got a four and a six and a two. Uh, a 12 run over, got the momentum back uh, towards uh, Motor City. Then there was a little bit of a mini collapse and then a decent uh, enough partnership in the middle between Karthik and Bhargav, Siva and Sujay, then Puneet and Sujay, 12 runs there between Puneet and Sujay was able to get them over the line. So Sujay with uh, an all-round game, 20 out of 35, helped uh, uh, Modi City get over the line. But nevertheless, not to forget what uh, Harishankar, uh, probably the most valuable zero for Motor City there, uh, zero from 10 balls. Uh, he gave a decent enough company to Sujay to get them over the line there. From the bowling front, uh, Arun has been doing really well uh, from the last game and this game with this slow loopy off spinners. He ended up getting four wickets for 13 runs. Suryansu getting two wickets for 12 and uh, Srini uh, a wicket uh, for 14 runs. So probably the other factor which I'm thinking if I were to really nitpick, uh, not too sure why Srini um, was the fifth bowler there. And it's it's bemusing that uh, he doesn't open the bowling nowadays and uh, ends up bowling second or third change uh, for local boys. A good, strong win for Motor City. Uh, I don't know how much chances that gives uh, f- uh, for them into the playoffs, but uh, congrats to uh, Motor City uh, for proving all the analysts wrong. Uh, so congrats to Motor City and uh, Bargav and Co. Okay, then the next set of the games are uh, Pool C games. I'm going to cover these. You know, um, the, the games that I'm going to cover are Detroit Bulls versus Dynamites and uh, Detroit Titans versus Dairia. Uh, two different contrasting games. One is totally one sided game, the other one is, uh, you know, very close game and uh, low affair, see, low score affair. And uh, <clears throat> So the first one is Detroit Bulls versus Dynamites and um, Detroit Bulls actually started really well and, um, you know, but then Dynamites came back very well with their, and very, with the ball really well. Uh, what I want to say, you know, even before getting into the, uh, you know, who scored what and who took the wickets and the difference between these two teams, this is what I felt. With the kind of form Morgan Vishwanathan is in, uh, he got out for duck. So that is the difference between win and uh, 
uh, a, a loss lose here uh, is what i am thinking okay and uh, if i uh, if i look into the game details you know detroit bulls really started really well and a blazing start i would say um uh, nikhil scoring 24 in 30 and uh, uh, asanka scoring 17 in very good innings that is in in terms of t ball 17 in 46 balls and after that quickly they lost quickly wickets and uh, the only uh, resistance came from vikas uh, who scored 11 runs but on the bowling front what impressed me is those extras you know uh, dynamite gave just two extras and uh, pick up the bowler is rajkumar who took four wickets in uh, uh, in um, five overs and adnan also bowled really fantastic I mean, if you look at his uh, 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 <coughs> stats four overs two maidens six runs and two wickets that's awesome in any 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 kind of game and uh, remaining all really chipped in and as a bowling unit they did fantastic job uh, controlling uh, detroit bulls to just mere 66 but the beauty of dcl is you know uh, chasing those low scores it's always somehow teams take a little bit of pressure on them and uh, and you know this is when the most informed batsman has to play that long innings and uh, finish the games and whereas for dynamites it didn't happen and dynamites the only guy who showed some you know class is venkat other than venkat nobody uh, you know could score more than say, the highest score they could manage by any batsman other than venkat is six runs i guess and venkat scored 12 runs you know half of that and uh, you know the they were all out for 51 and losing this game by 15 runs and um, uh, it's totally dominated by bowlers and um, uh, uh, like i may be uh, saying it rad right. uh, yeah it's it's a old style dcl you know a perfect dcl game that's what i can say you know rathod uh, he took three wickets in five overs and everybody chipped in in their bowling bowling unit Let's see if you look at the extras. They gave six extras. That is the second highest score <laughs> uh, from uh, entire Dynamite's unit. Okay, um, and everybody chipped. Every bowler really did well. You know, uh, Rathod yeah, three wickets, so Lande two wickets, you know, uh, one wicket, and Nikhil two wickets. And all these gave very less in their in their quota. And uh, uh, Vikas one run. So overall. very close game and you know great win by um, by uh, bulls and as i said the difference is uh, murgan vishnath okay i don't know whether uh, uh, vijay agrees with uh, I, <laughs> my yeah, statement I, I, i don't agree i i, I think mm-hmm. that's been that's been uh, a, a concern uh, throughout these nine games we have played uh, I, i i don't agree that we have to rely on one batsman No, no, no. I'm not saying rely on somebody, yeah, but yeah. You know, these are the games here. Yeah, yeah. The so I, yeah, I, I, I think uh, we will take lessons. But I want to give credit to Bulls. Uh, their fielding placements were right on, and they bowled the length to the batsman. That uh, I think Murugan tried uh, all his shots, but every single shot was blocked within the circle. So uh, and hmm. that that frustrated him to go for the big shot. So I think for batsmen like that. i think it's 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 uh uh it's important to release that pressure but at the same time to play a sensible innings which uh, none of our batsmen could play uh, it's it's a lessons learned and hopefully these lessons we can try to improve from this okay the next game is detroit titans versus dairia any time uh, you know see um, uh detroit titans the only unbeaten team and uh, so they scored 155 and that itself the game is you know done that's what i can say but you know if i i when i uh, looked at the score card i think dairia had an absolutely fantastic start with uh, four quick wickets and uh, and then came vihar vaidya and uh, prasad you know uh, they have taken game out completely out from the dairia's hands you know uh, vihar vaidya scoring 48 and prasad scoring 33 and uh, Uh, right after anil 22 and rajesh 12 runs 
uh, and to add to this insult you know the area ended up giving 20 extras and uh, the total was 155 any time a batting uh, scoring so batting first any team scores 155 the chasing becomes very difficult i mean difficult in the sense you know you are entering the game with a back foot for sure and um, and uh, the confidence of uh, um, uh, the defending uh, sorry, uh, uh, um, bowling unit is going to be very high you know before the start of the game and somebody has uh, you see when you are chasing 155 entire team has to contribute if you have to even think about taking the uh, game to the close but which is which didn't happen with diarrhea and other than one uh, uh, one score double figure 16 uh, Ra, uh, so raja wasam city is the only gun and other imran imran scored 11 runs apart from that um, you know there's no resistance at all you know it, it bundled out for 55 even within that 55 there were nine extras and if you look at the ball and with the with the form para covered in uh, he did what he's supposed to do he's in, in in his four overs he just gave away 11 runs and took three wickets and vihar vaidya and he took two, uh, two wickets so remaining all bowl, bowl really well and with the exception of pravin dige uh, oh, okay pravin dige so yesterday i was watching uh, konasima kings uh, game pravin dige he he is the one i think uh, blasted uh, andhra titans batters initially he scored 50 i think for konasima kings okay so, sorry sometimes yeah, 50, 50 I, of 22 I get balls carried something. away yeah that's that's very quick fire <laughs> so uh, it was good overall you know when it comes to this game and uh, chasing 155 is always a tough one and and uh, and if your uh, batting unit is you know collapsing like this it's things will very will be very difficult and you know uh, in the end that showed up uh, chasing 155 the area could score only 55 that giving 100 runs uh, a huge win to Detroit Titans and uh, the only unbeaten team and uh, uh, initially I thought you know that uh, Titans they can bowl better but their batting unit is very weak is what I I felt but they are proving me wrong uh, game after game uh, let's see what happens next week uh, with that, we have concluded all the games and uh, I hope we concluded all the games. Yes. And we'll quickly get into our predictions. Okay. Um, the first game of the night is Thunderbolts versus Riding, Rising Stars. You know, uh, I don't know whom to give edge here. Uh, uh, I'll, go, I'll go to Imti first. Imti, your thoughts on this game. Well, again, uh, both the teams uh, in the bottom half, their uh, win would definitely get them closer to that qualifying spot. So, but based on the recent form, I think uh, both the teams are uh, looking equally good uh, from uh, comparing these two teams. But I think I'll give a slight edge to Thunderbolts here. Thunderbolts, okay. Uh, Dinesh, Dinesh, I'm, I'm not asking Dinesh. So, uh, Vijay. Yeah, I think uh, you know. Again, it, it's it's uh, both are good bowling units. Um, it's 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 uh, it's the patience of Thunderbolts uh, to chase a score. Even if Rising Stars put to bat and they scored eighty runs, I think uh, that's where the difference comes in. Um, so looking at the the, the things uh, that are going going on, but uh, I'm I'm trying to predict based on. Uh, uh, the strength side. Uh, looking at Rising Stars, they have they have considered very less runs uh, to other teams. They have batted really decently, uh, you know, from a from a statistical standpoint. So I am giving slight edge to uh, uh, Rising Stars, but uh, I think uh, this is a game that Thunderbolts can win. You know, like because they have a good momentum from last game, how they batted well and. Uh, and won that big game uh, on that game against last week. So uh, it's it's a very very 
tricky situation for me but uh, i will go to thunderbolts just 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 for my gut feeling on the paper rising stars are good okay. team okay good for thunderbolts let's see what happens okay the next game is toy hawks versus red devils and i had high hopes on red devils but somehow i felt like they are not living up to my expectations um you know this is going to be very very close game with the way toy hawks are playing uh, your thoughts in team yeah definitely you kind of uh, uh, read my mind there red devils uh, had a promising start to the season with the last couple of games i think they have uh, <clears throat> shown a down curve hopefully this game uh, might change the fortunes again for them uh, troy hawks on the other hand has only played six games so far and they are in a good shape four wins out of those six games so uh, really can't take anything away from them but i think on paper definitely red devils look stronger hopefully they get their mojo back in this game and win this one red devils red devils okay dinesh yeah going with red devils um, for the pure fact that uh, they far better batting unit than what they've showed in the last few games so hopefully the you know class is permanent there you can't keep them away for too long is my gut feeling going with red devils okay red devils 20 uh, vijay uh yeah red devils i think uh, again you know this is a question for teams that are combining i think i, I mean i haven't combined much so i think inti may be the right guy to answer this so whenever you form a team right like when you combine lot of players uh it the, uh, i'm just asking this question to inti how how do you manage and balance uh your current talent right Uh, because safaris became red devils they added players At the end of the day it's it, it's about you know as performing as a team right i mean if come playoffs that's that's going to be the major factor what i have observed teams who are playing as a team as a unit always has an upper edge in the you what do you think because you, i know you have been in couple of mergers what, what do you think is the uh the, the key factor for red devils to uh to 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 form the core eleven, uh, I think they are going to uh, beat any team. No, again, like uh, any for any team, it's 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 difficult because again, the Red Devils they're playing as a unit for the first time, at least in DCL. I'm not sure if they have played together in other leagues uh, yet, but. Uh, uh again like uh, mergers always sometimes they work in the very beginning or sometimes they take time for the team to gel and get through right so uh, i am still looking for the <laughs> the the right answer for that question because uh, <laughs> no no i i specifically <laughs> asked imti because you know like imti uh you know have been in this league for a long time and you know usually the first year is always uh, like that we have seen rappers mm-hmm. merging with strikers rappers with uh you know taking a lot of uh, people from Troy Hawk this season so i i, I think this is a kind of uh, a, 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 a question that uh, not easy to answer anyways uh, but uh, but again yeah, you but know for I, this yeah go ahead no like i alluded i think again like there's so much cricket going on around right so i'm i'm pretty sure these bunch of folks have played together in in in, in some other places so i don't think gelling is a problem here i think it's just uh, to get the right combinations for the right game i think based on availability and stuff right so i think that is key for red devils because on paper i think red devils was very promising at the beginning and uh, somehow after getting those first wins convincing wins i think they somehow lost track or probably uh, outside factors again like coming into play but i think red devils uh, has that gelling already there among the players so i don't think that is a problem i just uh, figuring out the right combinations for the right game Okay yeah so I, i so for for me this game i mean troy hawks has only played six games so um that comes into picture too right like looking at their opponents um going forward i think that will be a good uh, measuring factor but i think this is this is the game that they have to take it as a challenge and uh, you know try to win this because this will be a huge uh, game for uh, troy hawks and uh, um, so i i'm going to give this to troy hawks for some reason okay try calls to one let's see what happens so one quick one quick oh, thing my two cents right so for yeah. these for these big mergers and all of that i honestly feel devnath keeps mentioning right so devnath uh, from thunder 
available. So he'll always mention you need to uh, recruit people for the positions, right? So especially from a batting front. And I've seen when started, star started batting units uh, always have this finishing, which becomes the key part. And the people lower middle order, uh, they, they are the ones who struggle. So you can pick a bunch of batters who always want to bat in the top three then who's going to finish the game? So that's a big responsibility. That's where I think you need to hire players or you need to look for people who can finish games. Or that's the key uh, for something like PCL. I don't know if I have to give a statement on uh, bringing people from outside. This is what I will advise to any team. You know, if you want to get, get only one guy, not in a bunch, you know, if, if you're getting a, if you're asking a guy and if he says, I'll bring a couple more with me, then say straight away, say no. Okay. <laughs> but that because seems to be the norm, Jagat. See, you, <laughs> no, see, basically, so, no. So this I, is what I, I'll, 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 so I'll... So I will give an example. My opinion. Okay. I'll give an example. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. Jagat. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll give an example. Like, for example, if uh, Rona Q Patel and, and Molik, they, they've been a part of uh, Gladiators for so long. I'm just I'm just pulling some names, okay? It's it's nothing personal. Uh, uh, so when they are in a position where they are the core people, they have to uh, take the pressure and play. I I I, I'm, I know this is the first season for them, but that that delivery is not yet there. But when you when it comes to when they play for gladiators, I think they had a team where they can trust each other. Like if if I don't if I don't score, the next guy in my lineup will score. Right, so that that is there is always that confidence that the next guy is always going to support me and and score and make the team win. So when when it, it it's in the opposite direction when I am the only guy or I am the couple of guys who needs to take the team uh, forward, there is always going to be that pressure. And whoever handles the pressure much better, uh, they the, 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 they they're going to have a blast. So I think it it all comes to the to you know how your mindset is in the game. Yeah, see, when, when, when you're bringing in bringing in bunch into your mm-hmm. team, that's always there is always a danger. You know, see, I was umpiring one of the games. Game is about to start, and you know this team. Uh, uh, see, um, they brought in one of the stars. Okay, and the star has brought in another two guys to that game, and in the last second, the star wanted to add those two guys to the playing eleven. Okay, <laughs> and the captain already brought in additional players okay he has yeah. entire team and plus this guy okay <laughs> so at the time i you know the captain he don't know whether to bring in those two guys to satisfy the star <laughs> or you know say bye to his own guys you know who are behind him you know all the time and eventually he took a good decision he said i can't play them <laughs> and the star walked away from that match i see it it happened right in front of me so oh, like this season, you know, when you bring in people, <laughs> I'll tell you later. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to. You, hey, you hey, hey, again, again, you keep you right? keep telling star notes. and star, right? Hope it's not stars. <laughs> no, no, not stars. It's not stars. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, so it hey, happened hey, right hey. in front of me. I felt so. I'm. I'm like, what is happening with these guys? You know. So that's why I say, you know, when you bring in bunch of guys you know they come in with a common emotion of friendship or in a group together something like that but, but, but they, the they, talent they, won't they come they like that See, game, the, the talent the yeah true yeah they've they been in a winning yeah. team and they expect the same right uh, regardless because you know regardless if you perform or not they they want to you know they want to get their spots right like like but once the team is matured right like that's what i was asking Inti. like Inti has play, played in a lot of mature team and he knows these kind of situations happen and then you know you know it's 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 a tough job for captain i i i know i i'm thinking like that right how do we satisfy our, your current core and also give an opportunity for the people who are you know coming in yeah one or two games um, if they fail, the others will be like, "Hey, I was doing much better. Come on, man! You know, you, you need to go, you need to try me." <laughs> so yeah, uh, and yeah, you're saying something, it. you know. 
no 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 uh, just uh, echoing what uh, vj said right so that's the uh, constant struggle for any captain right so that's the dilemma whenever he tries to recruit new people like that is the constant dilemma that every captain in dcl goes through so th- there's no ifs and buts for that right so yeah i think it's it's up to the captain like which way he goes eventually again like before the season all these kind of discussions happen right with every team so yeah Unfortunately, see, this no, is what happens. No right when, say, so basically, uh, the, when when we are uh, before the start of show, we were discussing about uh, uh, Andhra Titans. Uh, Ignace Cohen said a Cohen said a Kings game where they came with just seven players. Andhra Titans. Why they came with seven players? Because you know, sure. they <laughs> you know, there is nothing called team for them. You know, you are bringing bunch from there, bunch from here, <laughs> and forming a team, and they don't care. They, i felt like they are not enjoying the game actually you know yeah, yeah i think that's the that fun part i think that that's where yeah. yeah yeah you know you are living with that with that uh, tag of star so oh okay this is a easy game you don't need me the, that is the first statement any star gives okay and uh, the star expects everybody to you know request him can you come can you come <laughs> 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 okay that expectation it may you know it may give you good good result but um down the line the uh, it, uh, the chemistry of the team suffers a lot at least that's what i can say and sorry sorry to you know no, no, prolong no. this discussion let's quickly get into our uh, uh, next game the next game is canton hurricanes versus mi rangers imti yeah definitely after the feat uh, against krcc i would definitely pick canton hurricanes for this one even the mi rangers uh, showed uh, uh, a promise in couple of games but i think they are they're far too way below in the pool and uh, yeah they are not there yet for them. Yeah. yeah so canton hurricanes for sure and if if they win this one i think they are pretty much sealed for playoff is my thought process if they win this game probably we are looking at uh, uh, you know next generation a good captain in dcl yep. can yes. can i say that dinesh yes. no absolutely just going with pure momentum and uh, we spoke so much about uh, the captaincy as well going with canton hurricanes ha- having played against uh, ma rangers as well uh, going with canton hurricanes for this one vijay uh yeah i think uh, I'll, i'll go with canton hurricanes i, I think they have uh, uh pretty good unit and uh, you know they'll be riding high but again cricket is a you know it it it, it levels you up right like how dhoni says right? yeah. it levels you up so you can't take any team lightly uh, uh at the same time you need to come and play every game as the opponent is the best opponent and that's my thought process uh, uh, hopefully yeah. i i have matured through these so- years yeah go ahead. <laughs> that's a strong statement <laughs> okay okay the next one is hawks versus M- hawks versus mcc minds i'm 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 thinking somehow you know it's going to be another tie <laughs> with the way they are asking <laughs> you know me and vijay know about why i'm talking like this you know yeah. when our mcc minds this uh, you know schedule. they fight for this reschedules no, are for you know I, 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 yeah. so i i think it was uh, you know like it, it nothing you know I, i mean it was in the group and as well so i think it is nothing uh, i mean i i think the the, the 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 there is a certain ground that hawks wants to play there is certain ground miles wants to play but again you know it, it, it's it's more about you know coming and playing the game right regardless right uh, uh, but again the, the, we understand you know like we we, we you know because we understand that every team wants to play on a better ground we are trying to provide that uh, but un- unfortunately uh, we this the season uh, we, we have been a little bit uh, tied up with uh, other grounds not been available and that was the only pure reason that where we went with what the grounds that we scheduled for uh, but again uh, you know you, you you know good team or you know any team they can play 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 in any ground i mean it's it's as simple as it is right okay. vijay is bringing out his emotions because i've been let's call the game let's call the game okay <laughs> okay imti 
who is uh, who uh, yeah well uh, so again, I'll, I'll, what's your prediction I'll, i'll go with mcg miles for this one again like for the pure fact hawks has been on the down curve like i was mentioning earlier uh again like coming against a team like mcc miles uh, it will be a very hard feat for them to uh, come over mcc miles uh, and looking at the roster strength i i, I think mcc miles has this one covered okay dinesh mcc miles um I think uh, what they tried against us uh, in the game we played uh, where Sanjay and Brahmanai do coming down uh, to the later half and finishing the games off if they can add up that uh, I think MCC Miles are favorites uh, going forward MCC Miles for me Vijay Yeah I will go I will go with MCC Miles uh, mainly because uh, 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 i mean they have a, a good strength and they are playing as a unit and uh, hawks for some reason they 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 can still do it uh, but uh, they they haven't uh, you know uh, kind of uh, uh, been able to cross the end line uh, in most of the close games so this is uh, uh, but that is an advantage like hawks have been playing in founders for so long so they they could use the pitch to their condition so again it's it's going to be a somewhat tricky game but i think uh, miles have have an upper edge here okay just, the next game add, is probably the best uh, sorry uh, yeah go ahead no, no, sorry to just to add to that maybe i i have a gut feeling sanjay is due for a big one it's been a long time so i'm thinking this is the game for him no yep. okay so i i still i'm i'm sticking with my call you know thai <laughs> 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 okay in the standards versus krcc probably the best game of the season oh, yeah. is coming now yeah, uh, yeah. uh imti this is the game <laughs> the prediction is very important here <laughs> yes definitely again i think uh, i was uh, 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 going for a tagline like the uh, bop of all the games for this uh, season probably if i can say that uh, uh, the last so you're, year so you are so you are not using that mouth watering contest then so, yeah, i'm but, trying to change but, because it's been used so much now uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> uh yeah again like uh, two very strong teams uh, coming against each other uh, so uh, looking forward to this one uh, indus thunders had a, a very easy win last week uh, krcc on the other hand uh, ended up on the losing side so that makes it even more interesting for this week's uh, outing uh so i don't know if indus thunders are able to uh, come with their full strength team for this game i think i'll go with indus thunders for this one probably see this is you know i'm my i'm expecting this you know both teams will come loaded because they might have marked this one in their calendars way long back okay mm-hmm. so i'm i'm hoping that both teams they'll come uh, with a roster that's going that, that's the roster we will see in the playoffs just Dinesh. curious where is this game happening which ground uh, i'll i'll tell you okay okay yeah. uh, dinesh uh, you go ahead and uh, founders one okay. oh this founders interesting okay. founders one no. okay boy <laughs> reigning sixers huh? okay yeah, yeah. no i'm going with indus thunders right purely based on the fact what we discussed uh, the superstars gelling together and playing as a team i think krcc are still uh, yet to get to the mark where indus thunders are right now over the years they've shown it of uh, how to play as a unit with uh, their stars right so i'm just going with indus thunders for this one vijay hmm that is so i, I... <laughs> why shouldn't i get the first opportunity <laughs> okay next <laughs> all right it, it's a it's it's it, so i i i i will go with the krcc for this game just just KRCC. because okay. other two are pretty strong <laughs> yeah yeah okay so the next game is stars versus local boys okay you will get the first choice now <laughs> again <laughs> again it's a 20 stars that's what i'm i'm guessing from yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so so oh, yeah i think it's as a stars games to, to take here uh, local boys have been up and down this season um, and they are riding on srinivas and a uh, couple of other guys but uh, uh 
I think uh, stars will be glad to take this game because it's it's very important for them in the seedings as well. So so uh, when, when we we are we are almost as I said like we are almost in the ba- bottom half of the uh, you know like uh, last four games of the season. So every game becomes important for every team merely for the ranking point of view, right? Uh, you don't want, but but this year I'm very happy to see that every single uh, uh, you know, like apart from a couple of teams that who have not won a game, I, I think there is there is a lot of teams that have won one or two games, right? Like I, I think that's a very very positive sign uh, if you look at the uh, overall ranking. So they, everybody are trying to bring their best players. Everybody are trying to recruit new players and everything. So uh, I I think I will give this to Stars uh, uh, mainly because of their strength in 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 a in an uh, batting and bowling and uh, uh, yeah I, I think local boys they have a little bit longer way to go uh, they they've been they, they've been a good unit but uh, again you know they, they've been un- unfortunately they are stuck in in pool B which is a much more competitive pool than any other pool in my opinion don't worry we'll send a sympathy card for them <laughs> from our DCL radio okay <laughs> so you're giving it to starts then yeah okay dinesh yeah i'm giving it to stars uh, it should be a good workout uh, for the stars batters against uh, the slowish bowlers of uh, you know uh, satya and arun uh, of local boys but uh, stars should be able to take this yeah you brought in a good so, point so, there so you know, these four games with... so the, so so for, from a standing point of view uh, jagan i think uh, last four games for stars are the games that they should win and putting them on the top of the pool so uh, you know the, the, these are the these are the most uh, games that uh, stars would have dreamed of and uh, they are happening at the bottom half of them for so they should try to you know uh, put the nail on the thing and uh, get those four wins and uh, be on the top of the pool okay i thought of asking uh, about the dreams now <laughs> you know, okay. but i'm stopping it here you know we have no, no, no. Uh, we let, let have me time. do let, let me do a sorry to extend but let me do a <laughs> jagan here like how you downplay glcc games i'll try to downplay this one yeah no no <laughs> so, so, so again uh, imti i i think what i meant to say is like uh, you have to approach every game as a serious game but yeah. uh, you know like if you you have to put your best uh, you know like uh, think like this is your playoff Right, right, right. Yeah, so, uh, that's what I, I meant. I just wanted to bring. So, local boys is a, a team that we will definitely not take it lightly because the last time we met in the last year, we were at least like uh, 26 for six or something at one stage, uh, and luckily some of our lower order batsmen were able to score and we eventually won the game. But uh, definitely, local boys is a, a, a team that we will watch out for for sure. Okay, uh, D- Dinesh, did I ask you? Yeah yeah you did and you wanted to follow up but i think vijay interrupted so i said uh, it's going to be a good workout for the stars batters against the slowish uh, local boys bowlers uh, batters versus stars batters versus the slowish local boys bowlers okay the next game is strikers versus poker is another good game for this weekend uh, imti yeah again a very important game for uh, both the teams again like uh, even though pokeries uh, are in the top 5 i think uh, winning this game will only help them uh, to retain that spot and uh, make sure they are inching closer towards the playoffs whereas on the other hand strikers i think it is getting difficult for them because right now they have played six games three wins and three losses and i think their remaining games are against the uh, the top seeds uh, who are above them in the pool right now right so uh, it will be a tough game for strikers uh, and pokeries uh, uh, i'll give this one for pokeries pokeries anyhow stri- strikers you know uh, uh, they won that important game against gladiators that's more than enough for them that's what <laughs> i felt okay dinesh 
Yeah, I'm going with four crease uh, for this one, but uh, I have this feeling of uh, availability. I don't know what four crease availability are, and even if people are available, are they showing up on time? That's what I'm I'm worried about for four crease. But still going with. Uh, I think four crease are very uh, four crease are very disciplined team. Everybody they'll come on time and they'll do everything, with the exception of one guy, okay. which I don't want to. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that name. I'm not taking that name. With the exception of one guy, remaining all are very disciplined in pokeris. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so, who? Uh, what's I your prediction pokeris. here? Yeah, I said pokeris. 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 Vijay. Vijay. Yeah. So, if you look at this game, this game has big implications for strikers because strikers yeah. have uh, six games left, right? So they have they they have pokeris, SSK, Legends, Cheetahs, Cover Drive, Agni. So this, uh, I, I think, uh, strikers will try to strike with this game, uh, with whatever they have. Uh, I, I think this is uh, this game and Legends game will be very crucial for strikers if they, 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 they even they will always find a uh, way to get into playoffs. So this game, I think, this is a knockout game for uh, strikers. Uh, but again, you know, I, I'm not going against. Uh, Pokeris because they will always come with a balanced attack, and uh, I am hoping Pokeris will take this game and uh, put a nail on strikers' playoff chances. Okay, uh, so you're giving it to Pokeris. Pokeris three zero. Okay, and the next one is covered by Cricket Club versus SS, SLCC Legends and Legends all the way. I'm not even asking you guys about this one. The next one is FCC Agni versus Hitman. Uh, yeah, this is a game. I'll ask you guys. Um, MT. Yeah, another uh, very uh, important game for both the teams. I think Hitman uh, uh, showed uh, uh, very good uh, performances in the first half and then again uh, on the down curve a little bit. Like on and off team, uh, that's what we have been talking about, Hitman. Hopefully, they take this opportunity against FCC Agni and get back into the winning habits. But on the other hand, FCC Agni also, which I personally did not uh, have expectations for them this season, but I think the three wins that they uh, uh, got uh, were very good wins against uh, uh, good teams. So FCC Agni is also looking good. But again, just based on the roster strength and the confidence level at this point, I think Hitman has a slight edge. Hitman. Hitman, okay. Uh, Dinesh? Yeah, I'm going with Hitman. Uh... They have to win this one because the other two games are going to be pretty difficult. I'm going with Hitman for this one. Vijay. Yeah, I will. I'll take Hitman for this game. Uh, uh, mainly, they they want to bounce back from uh, what happened, and uh, because they won a good game against Pokri, so uh, I think they have to keep up the intensity to stay in the race. So they have three more games, and if they win the, uh, let me see Hitman's uh, schedule. Right now, uh, Hitman has uh, one against Agni, Agni, Agni Lions and Gujarat uh, Lions, Lions and Legends. Wow, okay. Uh, this is going to be the challenge for Hitman. Uh, if they can convert those games, uh, uh, keep keep them close and get at least, let me see, like uh, there are 29. Yeah, they at least two wins, uh, you know. Uh, so I, I, I'll, I'll pick Hitman for this one. Okay, so Hitman, so there is nothing called coming back or playing a better game, all that stuff for Hitman. Either they hit or they will flop. <laughs> there, there, there are only two ways. Okay, Hitman uh, or the next Missman. <laughs> Missman or Missman. The next game is Gladiators versus Gujarat Lions. I'm, I'm expecting some brotherhood love in this game. <laughs> if there is, if they are, you know, shaking hands like a happy family, then you know. Uh, <laughs> um, there's no point in. No, I think that this is going to be a blast of the game. Like KRCC in the standards, it's going to be. Uh, uh, I'm not calling I this one. A, it, sir, I, I'm not calling this one a great game. You know, gladiators are going to take this game very easily. Is easy, what I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, but you know, there will be some you know words. I want to see words getting exchanged between the teams. Uh, otherwise, there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Otherwise, I mean, there's no use in playing this game, you know. <laughs> no, like I, I think uh, this is the beauty of uh, DCL, right? When uh, when you have opponents that uh, 
that that you know you have played for so long and you are facing them it's going to be like molik versus uh, oh, satya right <laughs> no it's not so, molik versus satya it's it's molik, molik versus, versus vijay Vijo. <laughs> Vijo. <laughs> okay i want see i want some words uh, to be exchanged yeah, yeah. there you know you know I, more I'm than sure I, I, want, I, I, I wish i wish sure Vijo... I, I, I i can tame uh, molik uh, to do that i can i can talk to him <laughs> I, I, I wish Viju was available for this game here uh, on the ground. This would have been <laughs> to watch. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Viju usually is a very enthusiast of cricket. I mean, uh, if he is here, I, I don't doubt like he'll be on the sidelines or even even he'll be opening for Glads for the <laughs> name's sake. <laughs> Or who knows? He yeah. might be flying in. He would be opening and giving. Uh, see, you mean to say that would have given chance to uh, uh, Lions, Gujarat Lions. Jagan, I'm not saying anything. Jagan, here, I am being very. <laughs> I, I don't want to add uh, masalas like uh, how with you show goes. No, see, <laughs> the, this, the masala is sem- simple. You know, there are certain owners, or you call, you know. they are pain to their own team and yeah. you know one of the pain when viju was here is you know he he was a pain to his own team it is <laughs> that's what his own teammates told me and <laughs> you know i can name one more but i don't want to uh... <laughs> oh my oh my gosh. jagan okay. is in let's... flow from india i think jagan you need that coffee right now <laughs> i think i see uh, if i get an opportunity i'll go and meet with you you know yeah, he's, you, he's you in chennai right so yeah yeah uh, let's see, let's see I, i i plan to meet uh, vamsi also so okay let's he's see if it too? works yeah okay it is uh, i am uh, see going to guntur is guaranteed for me because that's my uh, wife's place so i have to go there and uh, once she lives there so if um probably i may get that's an easy one for me but chennai okay. is something i have to think okay okay the next game of the night is tinges versus spartans uh, spartans i'm giving you a show where uh, you know it will be nice where you and viju are in the same show <laughs> No. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Did we? Okay, hold on. Did we do the predictions? Glads versus Gujarat Lions, or we chat? I gave it. it? I gave it. Okay, no, three. I gave it two zero to uh, Gladiators. Three zero oh, to Gladiators. To Gladiators. Okay. Okay. And, yeah. Got it. yeah. No. Uh, no object. You want to contradict? Yeah. So, no. No. I'm not contradicting. Yeah. I. The only thing I wish is like Vijay and uh, Jagan do uh, co- commentary for this uh, together. I hope they can watch the game together. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fighting <laughs> okay next stingers versus the, the, the next one is stingers versus spartans and i think spartans are going to win this one any objections oh no uh, i no, cannot i want to give it to stingers yeah, yeah stingers yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay mt is giving it to stingers uh, dinesh yeah i'm giving it to uh, stingers as well oh my god okay vijay <laughs> so uh, again again third uh stingers <laughs> okay okay <laughs> you know you guys killing oh, me i mean i okay. I, I, i like both the teams i i, I like alag and uh, you know it doesn't matter whether you like them or not <laughs> you know, i know, I know. Going to win. I mean, I, i'm just i'm just i'm just going with the you know the team strengths right so uh i, I i'll go with spartans for some reason for this game i think uh, they have a good bowling unit and uh, you know uh, they 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 can uh, the only reason uh, the uh, yeah the spartans can bat too but again you know they they are very aggressive batsmen um, but i'll yeah i'll go to spartans no worries okay the next one is united raptors versus um um guardians i'm giving it to united raptors any objections no i think yeah. it's it's going to be a brotherhood game <laughs> let's see uh, what kind of game next week we'll <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see that one detroit bulls versus fcc and uh, i think bulls should win this one easily if not easily you know fetch for bulls any objections there i'll give to fcc uh, this game ooh oh okay mm. okay 
Anybody objection? Any objections? Okay, two one, two one Bulls. Oh, I'll I'll give it to Detroit Bulls for sure, but I think it is an important game for FCC to stay in the top five, right? So yeah, it will be a close game, is what I'm thinking. It won't be that one-sided for sure. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I said. You know, it's not. It may not be a um, uh, easy win uh, for Detroit Bulls. Easy win for Bulls, but Bulls will win it. That's what I'm yep. thinking. Yep. Just, a, just a quick uh, okay. suggestion next... for uh, uh, for FCC if they are listening. Uh, they, their main batsman is Nikhil Sunny, and if you can get him out, I think you can get get Bulls out pretty quick. Interesting. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. The next one is Detroit Titans versus GLCC. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, uh, this is the game. You know, the both teams have to play for a pride in the group. Okay, you know, GLCC desperately wants to beat Titans, and Titans they want to be on top by beating GLCC. Uh, Imti. Yeah. So the test is here. So uh, the top two teams in the pool meeting against each other. Titans still unbeaten. So that pressure is also mounting on them to keep that record alive. And GLCC, on the other hand, uh, have lost two games, which was not uh, predicted for those two games. But uh, I think GLCC will come back strong in this one. I, I'm giving it to GLCC. I know Satish Gaba won't Finish. Like it, but GLCC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm giving this to GLCC purely based on uh, the point stable pressure of not uh, having lost a game. So <laughs> I'm giving this to GLCC. Hmm, interesting comment. Okay, uh, Vijay. Uh, I have a... <laughs> this is going to be tricky for me because again, I'm third. Uh, uh, so, you know, GLCC, I mean, again, uh, being in the league for a long time, they know how to win uh you know, good teams and but again this year I'm not seeing patience from GLCC. They and no, uh, they say, let me tell you something. GLCC knows how to compete with with the opponent. <laughs> that's all. Okay. So, so I, I think uh, that's what you know, like, uh, if, if you look at uh, GLCC, their 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 journey through these nine games, they they they, they have you know stumbled upon you know uh, pretty much every stumble they they were over, overcome with couple of players who are playing that role. Uh, so the, the the magic here or the trick here is how to get Titans out, right? I mean, Titans, we know they have a very weak uh, batting order that they can c- crumble. Um, but again, it, it, it always depends on how the captain uses their bowlers to their strength. Uh, so I, I think uh, with experience of Samish, uh, because Gaba yesterday mentioned to me that uh, this is going to be his important game uh, for the last two years. So if that's going to be an important game, he's going to come up with all his uh, hands down and uh, uh, try to win this game because he wants to beat the unbeaten, right? Like it's it's like uh, the, uh, uh, how do you call it, like the Tom Brady versus the, uh, you know, uh, Mahomes uh, battle here. So I would, I think GLC is going to, they will come up with a strategy to beat Titans because uh, they know their batting is their weakness uh, in, in Titans and GLC has their own batting weakness. <laughs> uh, but uh, it again, it comes to bowling, uh, good line and length. And this game is played in Novi Power Park 3, uh, which is going to be a fantastic game. So I, I'm going to give this to GLCC May. Uh, mainly because of their experience. Yeah. I okay, GLCC 3-0. Yeah, Detroit Titans will take additional pressure for this game and just to stay unbeaten. And that might Psychological. Be yeah. It becomes yes. more psychological thing. Okay. And Samish is very good I mean, at, that's what at, I'm... at taking advantage of such kind of situation. So yeah, true. that's the key. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I if, think GLCC GLCC, win, if GLCC wins... If GLCC wins... If GLC, yeah. It is more, if GLC, more about, there is a couple of guys I would want to mention, uh, Jagan, in this. I think Akash is is, is a very, very patient batsman. Uh, and uh, right now, he has been maturing as a batsman very well. 
uh, and carrying some of the thing i think ajit and abhishek they, they, these uh, three guys are uh, uh, pretty consistently trying their best to take the take glcc team to the uh, finish line and if navpreet plays and if navpreet plays and he is able to uh, hit those boundaries it's it's a game changer i think that, that there is a lot of uh, opportunities that uh, this could be a one sided game so yeah sorry yeah good saying something oh, jagan okay. maybe no if glcc wins i'm going to send a message to uh, satish gaba why he lost oh vijay <laughs> 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 oh, shimogam what did you do acha <laughs> <laughs> no 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 acha acha they 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 used some old trick and and I, i'm sure that's going to backfire okay, okay. Uh, so satish gaba so if glcc wins i'm going to send a message to him so uh, the, the, these are all yeah. like half big statements that you say on the show that, that that's something i'll tell you next next okay. week okay okay, <laughs> okay. dynamite versus daidia and we are con- I, mean, i i want to conclude this uh, by uh, saying that uh dynamites are going to win this one any objections nope and vijay you don't get a chance again like first chance to go so <laughs> No, you can go first. Go, Vijay. Go for this one. <laughs> no, he, as I no, said, like I'm go. always, I'm always skeptical on any any team, right? I I regarded every team as equal opponents. I don't consider a team as a weak opponent, and that's that's why I always tell my team, uh, there is no weaker teams than us. There is no stronger team than us. I mean, we we have to play as as a team to win any game, regardless. I mean, uh, so even if we go to playoffs or not, doesn't matter. but you know this is the only season we play as a team let's let's give our best that's all so is arun back uh, vijay if i can ask uh, um, i, I okay. think he'll be back he'll be back before the glcc game i can say that <laughs> oh okay <laughs> <laughs> okay guys we have taken 32 minutes extra from what we are supposed to do okay Um, even though we so had less games to cover so I less game to cover and we had fun games to uh, predict so maybe that is the reason we have taken more time uh, no, I with think that one thing i think uh, jagan i think uh, for next week uh, what i want to do is kind of uh, do some kind of uh, uh, analysis on you know like on the playoff scenarios uh, mm-hmm. maybe i i will take that uh, charge Okay, and also so, see. Yeah. So let's do like this. You know, the predictions. Uh, sorry, uh, game analysis. I'll I'll leave it to three other guys. Okay, uh, the topic that you mentioned, you take take up that one, and uh, okay. you will be discussing uh, on the spot based on the games. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Is that good? Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. With with that, we will conclude tonight show. uh good night good evening good morning everybody because i'm in a different place so i have to say everything all right thank yeah, you guys have fun again yeah thanks to our listeners thank you again thank you so yeah, much th- thank you for all the listeners thank you guys